What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Beeston Castle, which is just outside of Chester. I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, to be honest with you, because it's quite a run-down castle, so there's not a lot there. But we'll try and get as much out of it as we can. There's a museum down the bottom too, which we'll probably go in at the end. And as you might see, I'm using a new mic today, a wireless mic. So we'll see what that's like and see if the quality is any good. Wonder if it fills up with water and maybe it was a hot tub. Maybe. I love just trying to see it. <laughs> yeah, this walk is actually quite a lot shorter than I thought it was. As you can see, the castle is right there. So this will definitely be a short video. As you can see the castle is quite run down like I mentioned before but the bridge is, I think the bridge is quite new uh, that's why it's so intact but it does look quite interesting, it looks like it probably would have been a really nice castle back in its heyday but just, you know, deteriorated over time with no care I will get the drone up in a minute so we can see what it looks like around the area because um, the area does look really nice it's by Delmere Forest which is a nice forest <laughs> I think this is like one of the only bits of the structure that are left there's only this and the tower next to it the rest is literally just like falling apart there's no walls around the backside i don't think and uh, this isn't much either really you've got this window that window and then the doorway so yeah it's not really much it's not really much of a video but some people have football so we don't really have time to do anything. As you can see, the walls are like fully collapsed. They should be about that height at the back over there, as you can see, but like they're just not. But you do get this magnificent view. I've got a fly in my mouth. You, but you do get this magnificent view of the fields. You can see eight counties from up here. But it is, as you can see, just farmland now, whereas a couple hundred years ago, this would have all been forested area, but it's all been deforested to make way for cropland and animal agricultural land, which is a bit of a shame because it would have looked amazing. Like, as you can see in the distance, there's a lot of wooded area, but it would have been amazing to just have forests lining the fields. This is the well. Is that an echo? Yeah, it's got an echo. I don't know how deep it is, you can't even see the bottom. Did you film Andy's ass? Yeah, I'm filming. Did you ask? Filming everyone's. Oh, look at that. Look at the, uh, <laughs> we're, st we're stood on the wall of the castle, right on the edge of this drop. It's <laughs> probably like a hundred foot drop, maybe more, but it's worth it for the view. So. It's ridiculously windy though, and that's probably all you're going to be able to hear, wind noise. Jack's chasing his hat as it blew off his head. But I missed it, I missed it. I couldn't get the camera out quick enough. Didn't notice this, but as you can see, across the way, there's actually another castle. I don't know what castle it is, I think it might be Halton Castle, because we did see signs of that on the way, but that was quite far back, so I'm not too sure. Oh wait, this is and you melt it with other metals and it comes out like bronze or brass or all sorts of things. Possible. 
The reconstruction of that Bronze Age hut was quite cool. It was built by volunteers and it took about six months to build, cost about 30 grand. And they used tools from that era, so bronze tools, which they said made the process take a lot longer because they blunt a lot quicker. And as we could see when we were in there that a lot of the structure was not very smooth. There's a lot of chips in it and stuff because the tools were blunt. So one of the things about them is that they would have had about 20 people in, or they speculate there would have been about 20 people in there. And as you've seen, it weren't that big, and that was bigger than a normal one, is what he said. So could you imagine how cramped conditions would have been living in them? One of the reasons for building it is because it was an experiment, because they, they don't know how they were actually built. They only have a really small amount of archaeological evidence to help them kind of piece together what they would have looked like. So the point in it was that they were building each part a little bit differently. So it had a, a few different walls, all made of different things, to just see how they held up. And they also put windows in, which they have no idea whether there was actually windows at the time. And then again, with the fat roofing, they had it layered, whereas they believe it wouldn't have been layered, but they'd done it to see how it would have affected it from like water, rain and the weather. And they did say that it's, it's watertight, it never leaked, so yeah. But we're just heading over to the museum now and we're going to go check that out and see if there's any more information in there. I'm still allowed to pick up the source. Yes, yeah, pick it up, you're allowed to pick it up. Oh, you should. Pick it up. You're allowed to pick it up. You can't pick it up, Tina. Can you try and get out the way? You never found me. So that's Beast in Castle. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe. And remember, keep exploring.